So we are at Mahoto Camp in Kwai. It's uh, uh, managed by the Kwai Development Trust. Uh, what can we tell you about this uh, this uh, beautiful uh, campsite? Well, let's first talk about the ablution. There is none. Uh, there's no water. There are no toilets. Uh, uh, just uh, take a shovel with you, dig a hole in the ground, and uh, do what you have to do in there. Uh, that's uh, all you can do here. Um, there's no water. Uh, there's no firewood. There are fire pits. There's a beautiful uh, a braai that they uh, that they uh, uh, made here. I will just show you a little bit later on. But what you do get here is a lot of wildlife, an enormous amount of wildlife. Just, I don't know, just about five minutes ago, there were three elephants, three bull elephants, just passing us at about 10 to, to 20 meters distance, uh, uh, just doing their own thing. Uh, it's uh, uh, a little bit nerve wracking, but they're quite relaxed and, and they don't seem to cause any problems, as long as you don't cause any problems for them. We'll just show a video about that a little bit later on. Uh, about how these uh, beautiful big bull elephants just uh, passed us in camp. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so the, the, the campsite itself, it's uh, it's very basic. Uh, a fire pit, a braai, and uh, especially if you're camping at campsite number seven, a lot of elephant dung, which is of course a dead giveaway that you're in the middle of an elephant crossing. So if you're a bit afraid of them, try to choose another one, which is a little bit further on, you know, number 10, or maybe at the river, numbers one to, uh, to five. Uh, they're all quite dispersed, there's quite quite a big of distance between campsites, so you will not bother each other at all. Um, if you want to find it, it's, it's, it is signposted uh, along, the, along the road, uh, uh, not easily visible. Uh, do not use uh, maps or anything like that, because uh, from, uh, from Kwai, uh, maps will guide you straight through the bush, which is a beautiful route, but uh, especially when there's a lot of water, it will not get you to where you want to be at the, at the campsite. So you're better off taking a bit of a detour uh, through the main route, uh, the main road, uh, I should say, and, and, and you will be just fine. It's, uh, it's like, uh, like, I don't know, a kilometer from the, from the main road, uh, you will find the, find the campsite. So let me show you around. So the campsite itself, uh, there's your fire pit. And, uh, and there's your braai, as I said, it's uh, very well made actually. It's got a uh, area underneath where you can just light your firewood. We're using it now for storage, but uh, you can light your firewood and, uh, and you can have your braai. And on top you can, uh, well, I don't know what the idea was. Maybe they want to have some, uh, some Japanese kitchen here with uh, a heating plate. But anyway, um, so yeah, this is, uh, this is the campsite itself. Just... Uh, a lot of space and uh, a lot of dung, but quiet. The only thing you will hear here is uh, is uh, your own voice and uh, and the sound of uh, of the birds and uh, <laughs> and the occasional elephant that is just passing by. So if you like nature, definitely go visit Mogoto Camp from uh, Kwai Development Trust. I hope this preview was useful for you. If you want to know more about self-drives in Botswana or Zambia, feel free to visit us at www.cocellosafaris.com. We are the self-drive specialist for Botswana and Zambia. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel to get regular updates. See you next time!